It was quite a day on the Hill yesterday. Attorney General Merrick Garland uh, tackled more than four hours of questioning by the Senate Judiciary Committee. Republicans eager to press him on the investigations into President Biden and Trump over classified documents. On top of questions about Hunter Biden, uh, also questions about fentanyl, the sale of deadly drugs and social media, and of course, the ticketing issues around Taylor Swift's concert. Paula Reed, live for CNN this morning in Washington. I say that in jest, but it's a really serious issue about, you know, whether there's monopoly power there. But what did you take away from this hearing? Exactly. And Ticketmaster is also one area where you can find bipartisan consensus. Yeah. But one of the biggest takeaways from yesterday's hearing, I mean, remember, this is usually a pretty contentious forum, but I was really surprised by how much substance was covered. And they talked about fentanyl, violent crime, child labor. And it was nearly four hours into the hearing before any Republicans even asked about the investigation into former President Trump. You are the Attorney General of the United States. You are in charge of the Justice Department. And yes, sir, you are responsible. Yeah. So give me an answer. Attorney General Merrick Garland appeared on Capitol Hill Wednesday amid high-profile investigations into President Biden and former President Trump, but warned he would not be able to reveal details of any ongoing cases. So that we do not jeopardize the viability of our investigations, and the civil liberties of our citizens. Though he was willing to explain why he has not appointed a special counsel to handle an investigation into Hunter Biden. I promised to leave the matter of Hunter Biden in the hands of the U.S. Attorney uh, for the District of Delaware, who was appointed uh, in the previous administration. Yet after months of Republicans railing against the FBI for executing a search warrant at Trump's Mar-a-Lago home, they didn't bring that up until four hours into the hearing. I approve the decision to seek a search warrant after probable cause was Overruling found. the FBI agents who did not want to do so. Garland repeatedly defended the department against accusations of partisanship. I also want to at least respond to your characterization of the department, which sure. I vigorously disagree with. I believe the men and women of the department pursue their work every single day in a nonpartisan and an appropriate General way. Garland. As Republicans hammered the attorney general on protests at the homes of Supreme Court justices and other conservative causes. Your failure to act to protect the safety of the justices and their families was an obvious product of political bias. Garland said his decision to have U.S. Marshals protect the justices 24-7 was unprecedented. Senator, you asked me whether I sat on my hands, and quite the opposite, I sent hey, let, 70 United States Marshals Let me try again. To and let have me you, has the Department of Justice brought even a single case under this statute? It's a yes-no question. It's not a give a speech on the other things you did. The job of the United States Marshals is to defend the lives so of the So the answer is no. It's to defend the lives of the justices, and that's our number one priority. Garland also engaged on a controversy that unites even the staunchest political adversaries, Ticketmaster. Multiple lawmakers brought up the Justice Department's reported antitrust investigation into Ticketmaster's parent company following the botched handling of Taylor Swift concerts. We know, quote, all too well, close quote, uh, the importance of competition in this industry uh, as in all other industries. Um, um, and so you can be confident that in all of our work, uh, we approach it with an understanding uh, that highly concentrated industries are a problem for competition. Did you catch that? I can confirm from conversations with the attorney general that he is actually a big Taylor Swift fan. Now, aside from the distrust <laughs> of Ticketmaster, the other area where there was clear bipartisan consensus was fentanyl and the fact that we yeah. were just not doing enough on that issue. And the attorney general reminded lawmakers that he can only work with the laws yep. and the resources that he is given by Congress and said he would welcome more help on that issue. It's great that you point out, to how much substance there was in those hearings, yeah. right? Because that is critically important for the American people. It's what they deserve. Paula, thank you for the reporting.